Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How is everybody doing today? For today's video, I'm super excited because we are continuing on with my top five drugstore series. And I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top five favorite loose setting powders that are drugstore and affordable and that are all $10 and under. Loose setting powders are definitely a staple in my makeup collection. I pretty much use one every single time I do my makeup and I have lots of favorites. I've tried a lot of the drugstore, I've tried a lot of high-end ones, but I really wanted to narrow it down to drugstore, of course, because I love drugstore makeup, but $10 and under is always a good price point I say so I wanted to share with you guys my favorites that are super smooth they're gonna make your makeup look flawless and that are also gonna look great in pictures but of course without breaking the bank I also have a pretty good mix here of different brands and different finishes as far as powders because I have combo skin so I feel like I can always get away with trying out different products some are dewy some are matte you know different kinds of finishes but great powders nonetheless so I'm super excited to share with you guys my top favorites I love categorizing makeup in like top five top seven top ten kind of thing because I feel like it's a little bit less overwhelming whenever you are shopping for new makeup or if you're also just curious about some different brands so I hope you guys enjoy today's video definitely grab a snack and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you have not already and let's get into my top five favorite drugstore loose setting powders okay so no particular order I'm just gonna pick and choose and get started first with ColourPop so this is the no filter setting powder so I have the shade translucent this is like my go-to shade I feel like this is also a really good dupe for the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder I honestly feel like this is more of a natural finish though I know that a lot of people have mentioned that this is more matte on their skin but for me personally I find it to be super natural it's not drying on the skin and it's definitely not a dewy setting powder so I feel like this could work for a lot of different skin types this is just a beautiful powder that I personally love for my under eye area my t-zone you could definitely use this to dust it on the rest of your face but I think for the under eyes it works best because it does again give you that very natural kind of highlighted look it's super seamless I feel like my makeup looks smooth and lasts a really long time whenever I do use this powder it's beautiful and it also looks great in pictures that's why I love this one because I feel like it's natural it's perfect for all kinds of makeup looks and it's not too bright under the eyes but it's like bright enough so this is really good they also do have a banana version that I love whenever I have a little bit more color to me but I also like this too because again it's gonna brighten up your look but it's not gonna be like too yellow or too harsh under the eyes it's like really seamless and really beautiful so both of these are great and they also come in a couple other shades but these are my go-to with my skin tone this next powder is really interesting I actually tested this out a few weeks back and it has become a new favorite so this is the hard candy chilling wonder powder so this is a hydrating loose setting powder if you guys are familiar with the Becca I believe it's called the hydro mist loose setting powder but this is honestly the same exact thing but better and it's more affordable of course this is like six dollars which is crazy but this is so good and cooling if you have dry skin you will love this basically when you apply this whether you use a brush or a sponge it feels like you're putting water on your face but it's still very cooling and it just feels so good like when I used a brush with this it felt like I dipped my brush under the sink like with water and then went in and applied powder on my face and it's it's like cooling and refreshing it's amazing and I love what they did with this because it feels really cooling but it sets your makeup beautifully but it doesn't dry out the skin the issue that I had with the Becca one is that it felt really nice when you first applied it but then after like just a few minutes my face felt tight dry but with this one it's the complete opposite it's still very cooling it's refreshing when you apply it but it's not drying on the skin whatsoever but it sets your makeup beautifully you could use this under your eyes you can use this also on your face if you want to just set your makeup if translucent powders don't work for you if you have very dry skin you need this powder it is beautiful it doesn't even feel like you're wearing a powder so I think again if you have dry skin or if translucent powders just don't work for you or you don't like that powdery look I think you will really really like this so definitely a good Becca dupe but in this case the dupe is actually better than the original I also had to give an honorable mention to my elf halo glow setting powder this is my favorite natural glowy setting powder at the drugstore it's the best one that I've tried I'm in the shade light I really like it because it's not glowy to the point where it looks like a loose highlighter when you apply it but it has has this really pretty kind of natural sheen it's not glittery it looks beautiful in pictures and it just makes your under eyes look alive and like slightly bright but again not too much this is also a very beautiful powder to set on the face as well if I ever use like maybe a matte foundation that doesn't maybe look the greatest on my skin I will go in and set my makeup with this and then I'll take some setting spray just to really melt everything into the skin and it looks completely flawless not drying and it just gives you the prettiest natural glow so yeah this is a great loose setting powder that you can use to set under your eyes or on your face and this comes in a couple other colors as well they actually added some shades from when it first came out which makes me so happy because it's such a good formula next up I have the Believe Beauty matte blur loose powder this is the translucent one so it's completely colorless what I really love about this is that it's such a seamless powder it's one of those that you can't really tell that you're wearing a lot of powder when you apply it it's not really gonna add any brightness or alter the color of your foundation it's really just gonna set your makeup so I've tried this on my under eyes I've also tried this all over my face and I think it's great it's a great powder for baking or if you just want 
want to set your under eyes or if you have very oily skin and you want a loose setting powder for your cheeks or for the rest of your face this is a good powder because again it doesn't have any color to it so if you're using any cream products underneath it's not going to alter the color at all it's just going to set everything and give you a really nice light matte finish but it doesn't brighten or really highlight anything on your face so if you do want that highlighted look under your eyes you will have to go in with like a banana powder maybe over top or just something to just enhance the under eyes i can leave a drugstore option from essence that i really love it's their banana powder it's like five dollars and i feel like that's a great powder to just slightly brighten your under eyes and give you that bright look which i think you might need with a powder like this if that's what you're looking for but as far as a light matte setting powder this is a great option last but not least i wanted to shout out the milani translucent light to medium setting powder this is also another oil absorbing mattifying powder that i think is so pretty because it's definitely bright now this is probably the brightest loose powder that i have out of everything it goes this one and then i would say the color pop one and then the elf one the hard candy one and the belief beauty one are not brightening powders they're just translucent setting powders so if you want that bright look you're gonna have to add something in when you're using those two but as far as milani ColourPop, and elf goes you really don't need to add anything extra but especially with the milani one this is super super brightening but it's also very mattifying on the skin but again it's not drying but it's definitely the most mattifying powder out of the bunch but this will make your makeup look like so flawless for hours and hours like i wore this the other day and it was so warm and humid outside i took bernard on a walk we were at the park and my makeup still looked good at the end of the day and i didn't really feel the need for touch-ups so if you have oily skin or combo skin or you're going to be wearing your makeup in the heat and you don't want to really worry about your products or your makeup moving or melting throughout the day get this powder i feel like this is going to be a hit for the summertime it's not a new product or anything but it's a really really nice matte powder if you don't have super oily skin and you still want to try something like this what you could always do is set your makeup and then use a dewy setting spray after to not only melt the products into your skin but it will kind of alter the finish of everything so it'll lock everything into place your makeup is nice and set but the finish is just changed a little bit so if you're not into a matte finish you can always alter your products with your setting spray depending on the finish of that so those are all of my drugstore translucent powder favorites now i wanted to share with you guys two tools and kind of tricks that i love to do whenever i'm using these products first is a beauty sponge any beauty sponge will work uh, this one is from haley's beauty i love it you can get the two pack for ten dollars elf also makes some really amazing beauty sponges as well if you have not tried applying your powders with a beauty sponge you need to it is life-changing so normally what i do is i'll just take my sponge and i'll just get it damp under the sink make sure i wring all of the water out like i don't want this to be like soaking wet when i'm applying my liquids or my powders but i do want it to be a little bit damp and of course squishy and bouncy so what i like to do is i normally will just take the translucent powder and then i will just take it right on the lid any powder and then from there i go in and set my under eyes that way and i really want to make sure to press the powder under the eyes just to really make sure that the fine lines that i have look as smooth and seamless as possible so that is the most popular way that i like to use my translucent powders is with a sponge but i also do love this brush for setting the under eyes especially when my under eyes maybe don't look the best and they look a little bit creasy i will go in with this brush this is the real technique setting brush and i will literally take some powder and just really set under that area right here and just press that powder down and it looks so good and this fits perfectly right under here it's such a good brush it's fluffy it's kind of tapered at the top so it fits perfectly right under your eyes so this brush works with loose powders works with pressed powders it's amazing and it's very universal so i love this one so that officially completes this video hopefully it was helpful i will of course link everything that i mentioned down below if you guys are interested feel free to leave any other favorites that you guys have that are drugstore or affordable that are holy grails that i may have missed in today's video i always love your recommendations so definitely leave me a comment thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're doing well and i will see you very soon in my next video bye